bonus. Yes, if you guys had watched my previous video, I had uh, read a My Little Pony fan fiction called The Last Crusade, which is, in my opinion, the saddest thing I have ever read in my life, ever. And I'm sure some kind pony will link me a sadder fan fiction, and then I can say that that is the saddest thing I've ever read in my life, but for now, The Last Crusade was it. In fact, I have another sad fan fiction that may actually be sadder than The Last Crusade that I'm probably going to read tomorrow when I recover from this one. Anyway, yes, another fan fiction. This one caught my eye because it was in the featured box on FIMfiction.net. And this one just... The description made me go, what the fuck? So we're going to dive right into this and read it. It is called Fluffershy. And I am legitimately curious as to what in the hell this is. So let's get started. We're diving right in. Fluffershy. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Hold on a second. Let me read this a bit. Okay, <laughs> I misread something, so... Anyway, here we go. <clears throat> Come on, Twilight, it's the only thing I haven't tried yet. It has to work. Spike, I think you're just going to have to trust me on this one when I tell you I'm pretty sure giving you armpit hair isn't going to make Rarity like you. Okay, this is already starting off weird. <sighs> Alright, let's continue. You're harshing my buzz here, Twy. Twilight... Twilight! Oh, thank God, there's Pinkie Pie. Let's go see what she wants, shall we? This conversation isn't over. Twilight sparkles sighed as she hopped down the stairs to the library's ground floor, Spike grumbling along beside her, behind her. Pinkie Pie was standing in the library's open door, looking around slowly as though she was expecting to find someone watching her. Twilight raised an eyebrow and trotted over. Hey, Pinkie, everything okay? Feeling twitchy? Pinky shook her head. Twilight, I think I found something bad and I don't know what to do about it. The purple unicorn frowned. Pinky was standing fairly still, tail dragging behind her. Her usual smile in place, but looking more than a little forced. She wasn't laughing. Ponyville was fucked. <laughs> okay! I'm already digging this fanfic for the use of language. I did not make that up. That is literally what it says right on my screen. Ponyville was fucked. I'm going to take a drink to that. <laughs> Alright. I'm liking where this is going already. Oh no. Is someone dead? Is there a plague? Are we being attacked by dragons? Or zombies? Pinky blinked. What? There haven't been any zombies in Ponyville since the great zombie epidemic of 8056. Of 856, when Wil Wilhelmina Pie drove back the hordes of undead by luring the parasprites out of Everfree Forest and giving them and getting them to eat the zombies, which of course led to zombie parasprites. But it turns out zombie parasprites can't actually be can't actually reproduce because they're dead. So a force of marching bands, 500 ponies strong, sent them back into the cracks of doom and destroyed the zombie crown, freeing all of Equestria from Lord Nautilus. I can't read this massive alt text. Twilight gaped. Anyhow, it's nothing that interesting. I was looking through Mr. Cake's movie collection for something to watch for my movie watching party, and I found this. Pinky opened her saddlebag and pulled out a DVD case. Twilight blinked, then levitated it out of Pinky's mouth so she could get a better look. What the? Is that some pony's ass? The biggest ever. Three hours of pony, of pure pony pleasure? Pinky, this is a porno. I know that, but Twilight, look at the mare on the front. I'll... Okay, thought I heard something. Pardon my sudden stopping there. All I'm seeing is ass, Pinky. Yellow butterfly-covered pink-tailed Celestia's Gaskin. That looks exactly like Fluttershy. Pinky nodded so hard that she almost tripped, tipped over. I know, I can't believe it. I never would have thought Fluttershy would do something like this. 
I mean, maybe Rarity, and I'd be surprised if Dash hasn't. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? This is... This is... <sighs> Fuck my curiosity. Fuck it. I was like, okay, this ought to be comical. When I read the description of this... When I read the description of this thing, I thought it would be comical, but right now it's just making me go, what? Okay. Let's go. Okay. And I could see maybe you, but Fluttershy? Put her in front of a camera and she'd have a heart attack, much less trying to get her to have sex. This is just creeping me out on several levels, considering having gotten used to how cutie and friendly the show is, listening, even contemplating the characters talking about sex is creeping me out. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, and no. Wait, me? You can see me doing pornography, Pinky? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, that, that made me chuckle, yeah. We all know it's always the nerds that are secretly sex fiends, Twilight. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! That is single-handedly the funniest thing I've ever read in a fan fiction ever. Uh, wow. I am actually imagining this whole scene in the style of the cartoon, and it's friggin' hilarious. Spike, who had seen some of the reading material under Twilight's bed, simply nodded sagely. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> fucking innocence how does that work it doesn't when you're on the internet <laughs> look what princess celestia and i happen to do when alone is between us and uh, whoa i'm not sure i want to keep reading this story uh this is creeping me out now See, I'm not taking a bet to read this, so I don't have to read it if I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna regret I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. It's between us and her video camera not available for public consumption. I mean, my personal life is not on trial here. What I'm worried about is what circumstances would drive Fluttershy to do something like this. We should ask her if she needs money at the very least. Whoa, hold on, said Spike. Aren't we jumping to conclusions here? We don't know for sure that's Fluttershy in the box. We just know it looks a lot like her. And I doubt either of you have spent enough time studying her rear, her rear end to be able to tell for sure. <laughs> that's a good point, said Twilight, somewhat deflated. If it isn't Fluttershy, she's going to be horribly offended when she finds out we assumed she did porn at the drop of a hat. We need to be sure. We should watch the video, said Pinky. I have my hands on my face. Face palming. Oh boy. Excellent suggestion, agreed Spike. What? Look, you two, I'm as curious as any pony, but the one thing I'm not curious about is watching Fluttershy mate, and definitely not for three hours. What in tarnation did I just walk into? They startled, then turned to find Applejack standing in the doorway, staring at the three of them in shock. Twilight blushed and used her magic to swing the library's door securely closed. Oh, Applejack, Pinky nearly sobbed. It's just terrible. Fluttershy's a whore. Okay, I'll admit the random bouts of them saying shit like fuck and whore is making me grin a little bit, but in between that, with all the sex talk and stuff, it's just giving me chills of creeps. What would compel someone to write something like this? Like, what? <sighs> okay. We're going to finish this. We're going to finish this. Applejack's face slowly exploded into an expression of horrified confusion.
Twilight sighed and levitated the DVD case in front of her. The confusion left Applejack's face as she examined the cover, but the horror remained. What? Y'all aren't telling me that's Fluttershy. You seriously think she cashed in her candy cooter for old for cold coinage? I can't credit it. I don't know if I believe it either, said Twilight gently, but the evidence is right there. Either some pony is presenting pictures of her posterior to peddle pony pornography without permission, or Fluttershy is a porn star. Yeah. Either way, I say we find the ponies responsible and buck their teeth out, startled, snarled Applejack, taking advantage of poor Fluttershy of all ponies. But we don't know for sure, said Pinky. It might be some kind of mistake. Which is why we need to watch it, said Spike, trying not to smile. In this situation, Spike kind of sounds like me. <laughs> I'd be the one begging them to fucking watch it. <laughs> but I'm me. <laughs> Twilight sighed. I suppose we have to, or at least enough of it to determine whether or not it really is her. Then what are we waiting for, asked Pinky. Let's pop this sucker in. Pop it into what, asked Twilight. This is a library for books, not movies. I don't have a DVD player. But we can't watch it at the cake shop, said Pinky. If Mr. Cake finds out I found a secret stash, he'll be disappointed in me. <laughs> don't look at me, said Applejack. We don't even have a TV over at Sweet Apple Acres. I have a hard enough time getting Apple Bloom to do her homework as it is. And I am trying to repress memories of The Last Crusade... Who do we know that would have a DVD player that we can trust with something like this, mused Spike. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I read ahead, sorry. You want to watch what? asked Rarity, aghast. Please, Rarity, asked Twilight. We just want to be sure it's actually Fluttershy so we know how concerned we need to be. I mean, think about it. This is Fluttershy. Blushes when she talks about bunnies doing it, probably cried when she first saw... When she, she saw her first unsheathed stallion, can't even walk in front of a camera without mistake, without making a squeaking noise that shatters the lens, Fluttershy. Can you imagine what it would have to happen to drive her to making pornography? Something catastrophic, said Applejack. She must have spent all of her bits on bunnies, said Pinkie Pie, with nothing left for herself. Pinkie curled up on the ground, shivering, and began speaking in an uncanny imitation of Fluttershy's quiet whisper. Oh, woe is me, for I have given my last bit for rabbit food, and now I shall soon starve. That sounds a little overdramatic. Spike sauntered, sauntered over to her, gleefully stroking an imaginary mustache. I face palm. Well, hello, little filly. Looks like you're in a bit of a tight spot. Could I interest you in a job? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll do anything you ask, sir. Anything? Oh, oh my. Oh, sir, you wouldn't. You couldn't. That's right. Now get in front of that camera and shake your tail. But, sir, this is so wrong. I'll go to pony hell. <sniffs> Moving on. Not my problem. Now here comes your co-star, Bigger Macintosh. Insert sound of a rim shot. <laughs> oh, Rarity, help me. Watch my pornography and help me, please. That. <sighs> I'm going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to sleep, and when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going. I'm going to seriously regret this. I'm going to regret ever reading this. All right, that's quite enough, sighed Rarity, massaging her forehead with a hoof. The theatrics weren't necessary. I'll let you view that thing. And then when you've all been proven wrong, then, you, then you'll all feel the more foolish for it. Fluttershy would never do anything like this. It takes poise and charm to pose properly for a movie of this nature, and she certainly doesn't have it. How would you know that? asked Twilight suspiciously. Well, I dabbled in acting before I found my true calling, and I may have done a few films that I'm not particularly proud of.
moving on. <laughs> Whatever, let's just watch this thing. I want to get it over with. And I thank you two not to insinuate, and I thank you two not to insinuate that my big brother ruts in front of cameras for money, said Applejack, glaring at Spike and Pinky. I didn't say that. I was insinuating that your dad. Pinky shoved a cupcake down Spike's throat. Rarity set up the DVD player and they sat down on her big fluffy couch to watch. Popcorn? offered Pinky. Shh! The movie started off with a techno beat soundtrack and quickly degenerated into the standard plot. Uh, boy. Oh my goodness, I don't have enough bits to pay for the pizza or this package that's just been delivered. If only I had some way to make it up to both of you gentle cults. Oh my lord. Oh, uh, I'm going to take another drink here. What have I gotten myself into? I don't like it. Wow, said Applejack. She's taking the whole thing. Never could manage that myself, commented Rarity. Gag reflex. <sighs> Why was this featured? This is making me ill. I really like the music, said Pinky, bouncing up and down in time with the beat. Spike was very quiet. I think you're all missing the obvious here, said Twilight wearily, because that clearly is not Fluttershy. Of course it isn't, said Rainbow Dash. That's Mandy Mare. This is her first ever DP scene. Handled it like a pro, in my opinion. You see, the fact that Rainbow Dash knows more about porn than me... Almost makes me want to throw up. <clears throat> Twilight almost jumped out of her fur. Rainbow Dash, what what are you doing here? You guys were watching porn without me? I'm insulted. How how could you have possibly known? I have my sources. Whoa, down there now, said Applejack, turning to look at the sky blue pe Pegasus. Dash, you've seen this uh, movie before? Seen it, Dash chuckled. I have it on VHS and DVD. Special edition, too. Then y'all can tell us if this right, if this here's the right case or if we've all been hornswoggled. Rainbow Dash blinked as Rarity levitated the DVD cover in front of her. What? That's the right case? Yeah, why would... Oh, Dash grinned wickedly. You guys are watching this because Fluttershy is in it. You perverts. Uh... Okay. We're not the only ones who own three copies of... We're not the ones who own three copies of this and never told any pony that poor Fluttershy has been reduced to mating on camera for a living. Rarity was irate. Whoa, hold on, said Dash, raising her hooves defensively. This isn't what it looks like. Just wait for the hour and 36 minute mark and you'll see what I mean. Twilight levitated the remote control and started fast forwarding. You guys are no fun, grumped Rainbow Dash. Over the course of an hour of an hour and a half, the actors apparently picked up another mare and two stallions in the process of moving to Mandy's bedroom. Just as Twilight hit play, a familiar looking Pegasus pony nervously crept into frame. The camera immediately zoomed in and focused on her butt. Er um excuse me. I'm very sorry, everyone. But I've been sent to tell you that you're all going to pony hell the set was lit up with lurid red spotlights and a fresh batch of stallions leaped into the scene waving pitchforks fluttershy let out a quiet yelp and scampered off what said applejack that's it asked pinkie pie those costumes are hideous commented rarity she was an extra twilight was incredulous this film was made a couple of years ago, Rainbow Dash explained, pausing the action and rewinding so Fluttershy was back on screen. They needed Pegasus to damn every pony to pony hell, so they held a casting call without telling any pony exactly what the part was. I brought Fluttershy with me when I auditioned for it, but the director liked her so much he paid her triple the going rate just for that scene. She used the money to build her house. That's a fairly gratuitous ass shot for a cameo, said Rarity. 
Yeah, I don't think she knew they had that camera right behind her. I always figured it was better if she didn't find out. Hello, everypony, said in a quiet voice. I've been looking for you all day. What's going on in this? Oh, applesauce. No, Fluttershy, Twilight Panic, don't look. No, my secret shame and sin. It's okay, Fluttershy, wailed Pinky. We're not judging you. I promise we're not judging you. Fluttershy paused in the act of attempting to commit seppuku with an angel bunny's with angel bunny's carrot. Okay, <laughs> props for mentioning something Japanese. Although, mm, nah, not gonna make any more jokes. You, you're not. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. What? And you have a fantastic ass, said a grinning Rainbow Dash. <sighs> I think I've facepalmed about three times now. Fluttershy turned an interesting shade of red. Angel took his carrot back, gave the assembled ponies the bird, and hopped away. So, um, I gotta admit to being a little bit curious now, said, said Twilight. After you sent them all to Pony Hell, how did this end? Fluttershy blinked and slowly clambered up onto the couch. Well, first they start using pitchforks, which are all actually husbandry aids. Oh, thank God it's over. That is literally how it ends with that phrase. Oh, thank God it's over. What the flaming fuck did I just read? What did I just read? That is literally the only thing I can say is, what the fuck did I just read? Well, I think from now on I'm going to stick to the depressing fan fictions because at least they're not this. <sighs> fuck. Well, at least I'm, well, at least I'm more irritated at this point than I am depressed. So, kudos for getting me over uh, the last crusade. So, I'm gonna go do something not this now, like play Gears of War or something. So until next time, folks, see ya.